Here's an example of a graph. A graph basically is a bunch of vertices, vertex is the word, which would be the nodes A and D and C and B, and edges. And the edges are the arrows that connect all of the vertices. This could be a group of cities connected by roads or an airline system connected by flights. We're going to use that analogy here. Let's say this is Austin, and this is Dallas, and this is Boston, and this is Chicago. And this is an airline system, and each one of these arrows is a flight, a one-hop flight from one town to the next. So Austin has a flight to Dallas, and Dallas has a flight back to Austin. Dallas has a flight to Boston and back. Same thing with between Boston and Chicago. Uh, Chicago only has a flight out to Dallas, and it also has a local flight that just kind of like a scenic tour. It takes off and lands in the same airport. So this would be an example of a graph. It's essentially a way to take either pieces of data or events in a particular process and connect them together. And so one way that you can represent these graphs is by using an adjacency matrix. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And the way to do an adjacency matrix is to make a grid that has A, B, C, and D, in this case, as the from and the to elements. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put a zero if there is no flight from one node to the next, and a one if there is a flight from one to the next. So we start with Austin to Austin. Is there a scenic tour from Austin to Austin? And the answer is no. Is there a direct flight from Austin to Boston? The answer is no. How about Austin to Chicago? No. How about Austin to Dallas? Yes. So from Boston, can you go directly to Austin? The answer is no. Does Boston have a scenic tour? No. Can Boston go to Chicago? Yes. Can Boston go to Dallas? Yes. How about Chicago? Can Chicago go straight to Austin? No. Can it go to Boston? Yes. Does it have a scenic tour? It does. Can Chicago go to Dallas? Yes, it does. Dallas, can it go to Austin? Yes, it can. Can it go to Boston? Yes, it can. Can it go to Chicago? No, it cannot. Does it have a scenic tour? No, it does not. So what you see here is a graph, a simple four-node graph, and this is called a directed graph because the lines have arrows on them, and this is called an adjacency matrix that allows you to see in grid format the connections between them.